Hi everyone, this is Jen Hasten with Hasten Healthy Hands. And I'm coming to you from the back of our pod where we were packing up our life, basically. And we're moving to Illinois. And uh, I thought it would be a useful exercise because the thing that I'm thinking about a lot right now is what do you keep and what do you get rid of? And when you're packing and when you're moving, it's a great opportunity to purge. It's a great opportunity to get rid of things that maybe have been sitting in boxes. Uh, and have moved from move to move. And then all of a sudden you realize, I haven't touched that in five years. I haven't touched that in six years. Why am I carrying it with me? So the point of today's post is to realize what's necessary and realize what's not and figure out what you're gonna take and what you're not gonna take. And you don't have to move to purge, by the way. This is one of the best exercises I did for myself last year. Um, I was in a decluttering challenge and every single day I decluttered a teeny tiny portion of the house until the last day, which is the closet. I left the closet for the last day because it was going to be the biggest, it was going to be a behemoth, it was going to be horrible. And the truth is, is it wound up not being bad at all. It was one of those things where you build it up in your mind, it's this big huge monster and then all of a sudden you break it up in pieces and it's not that big a deal. It's not that big a deal at all. And one of the things I learned is if it doesn't spark joy, I'm getting rid of it. It is literally that simple. Um, Marie Kondo came up with that concept. Um, I can't handle taking everything out all at once because that just would send me over the cliff of anxiety. I would just be like, no, I can't deal with all that. But taking one thing out and saying, you know what? I don't wanna wear that. I haven't worn that in a while. It doesn't spark joy anymore. You thank it, you give it away. So my message today is what do you have in your life that does not spark joy get rid of it and if it's a person obviously you can't get rid of that person but you can lessen the time that you spend with that person and if somebody sparks joy and you're not spending enough time with them make efforts to spend time with them so that's my message i'm jen haston and this is haston helping hands and if you feel like this is inspiring and this helps you and it helps you get motivated please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel um, I will be continuing to do messages. Haste and Helping Hands is moving to Illinois. I will still be online. Thanks so much.